uh, micro, micro fat. Micro fat. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Hello, everyone. Today I'll speak about the microfragmented uh, fat tissue in knee osteoarthritis treatments. Uh, my name is Roland Barreto from Brazil. I'm a knee surgeon and I learned about the regenerative medicine since 2005. And I have no disclosure for this presentation, but I have a big problem. The, some this case, uh, severe osteo knee osteoarthritis in this lady with 96 years old. And she said to me, look, Dr. Ronald, I do not want surgery. And after passing uh, through several places, this is kind of a challenge that I have to conquer. What are the treatment options? Arthroplasty doesn't want it. Hyaluronic acid, very short effect in this kind of knee osteoarthritis. BMA, at this age, it's a, it worked over a 60 years old. And physiotherapy, will be enough? Brace is be useful? Arthro arthroscopy without mechanical signs, what to do? Okay, forget it. Embrace the pain because there's no other way. Do we have any other options? Okay, I want to present you the, the cell therapy, the tissue, the adipose tissue therapy. What? How does this possible? Okay, the tissues therapy, uh, the adipose tissue therapy, we use uh, not the, all these cells. We use the vessels, the niche, the mesenchymal cells, the exosomes, and the other, the other bio, the molecules active. Well, the mesenchymal cells is well and know for the, from the mesogenic process to become uh, bone, cartilage, uh, tendon, muscles, fat. And all around, all mesenchymal cells come from the parasite. And the parasites embrace the vessels. But the second function from the mesenchymal cells is this one. The mesenchymal cells work, look like a drug delivery, like a tablet medicine that will slowly uh, release this a lot of the lot of mo molecules that will work like a drugstore as called from professor kaplan and this this lot of this protein is well well known and i will i i want to highlight this dcov1 that is a nature uh, WNT pathway inhibitor to treat the OA. This, uh, this molecule, this protein, will inhibit the generative gene active and reduce the degradation of articular cartilage, bone, and decrease inflammation. We have two, two ways to get this uh, these, these cells from the, the adipose tissue. One is enzymatic, that not allowed in Brazil, in Europe, in US, and I believe in Asia also. But the en no enzymatic methods are not new, and that we use this, this way. Why we use this way? Five reasons. The first one, the microfragmented, the microfragmented uh, tissues preserve the perivascular niche. This works like a shield for these cells. This is a nature growth medium to protect these cells. The second way, the second reason is the number of the cells. While 
in the nano fat, we have one in a thousand cells is a mesenchymal cells. In the BM, BMAC, we have one in thousand, uh, hundred thousand cells. The third thing, the delivery, uh, the mesenchymal is independent of the, the quantity of the mesenchymal. It's independent of the donor age. The, the third reason is mesenchymal cells were detected in soft tissues after 10 weeks after injections. And the last reason is well-balanced map in this autobiological map with enough a uh, high, uh, high number of mesenchymal cells, growth factor is okay, and work uh, with a scaffold is okay. At this moment, I prefer to mix the nanofat with, with uh, PRP, because we will mix the number, we increase the growth factor in this, in this product. I call this cheese and wine product. Okay, but how about the, the clinical results? This is an incredible, it's amazing uh, article that compare before and after the injection, one year follow-up, and they, they did the T2 mapping from cartilage, and they, fo they found a significant increase in glucosaminoglycan that preserved the cartilage. And the same, the same article, the result in pain is uh, reduction in pain levels and increase the, the joint mobility. And how about two years? They, they found 15% increase of glucosaminoglycan. This indicates the modification of nature disease progression. I, I can't, uh, I, I didn't see any other product that preserve the cartilage as the, the microfragment tissues. But usually, the, the, the glucosamine glycans after two years will, will decrease. And how about three years? The result is the same. They increase the function in three different score, functional score, and decrease the pain. And, and how about four years fellow, fellow up? The autologous microfragment adipose tissue demonstrate effectiveness around 60% after four years follow up. But we have our results out. We start to do this in 2018, uh, studying the to tendinopathy, and after one year follow up, we found uh, increase the function, the mobility, and decrease the pain and increase this, the muscle strength. But we are not aesthetic aesthetic surgeons, we need to prepare our patients. Usually, the, this is the basic uh, soil preparation, okay? We use kerstin, metformin, around one week, two, one week, no, one month, two months before the, the injections, because reduce, reduce the ox, uh, oxidative stress and do the polarization from M1 to M2 microfiber. I use vitamin C and vitamin D to work more with the collagen, uh, collagen uh, production, and I use alpha lipoic acid when necessary to decrease the insulin peak effect in the tissues. And I invite all of you to scan this QR code that you will access step by step. Please turn on the captions and translate 
uh, to English. And there is in there is in are there any a plastic surgeon here? No. Don't worry. The learn the learn curve to to apply this technique is short. If you are not comfortable to to get the the fat from the belly, we can collect from the flank, the 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 thigh or the lateral hip. Okay. And the concept is we we have to we have to collect first collect the tissue and clean up the tissue or with this the lipogenes on other other technique and then we should uh, decrease the fat cluster from this size for nano nano size or micro size okay we can use this the lipogenes the lipostein or the fat filter we decrease from two millimeter until 0 0.3 millimeters, okay? And we we'll do another spin, if you, if you want, to get the oil, fat, the ECM, extracellular matrix, and SVF, stromal vascular fraction. We don't use the oil, but use the fat and the ECM to scaffold and SVF to regenerative, okay? And we can use from this, from here, we mix with the PRP if you want. And how to inject? Always we can use the 20 gauge or 22 gauge um, needle. We, we, we need to certify that we are in, intra-articular or peri-articular injections, okay? To do, to do this, not blind, we use ultrasound. And we guarantee that the, all the fluid cover the inner surface from the articular. And look this picture, a beautiful picture. Like. <laughs> But I'm a surgeon, and I like to do the second way. I do a, a soft toilet, a joint toilet, to remove uh, cartilage fragments, uh, osseous bone, bone fragments, and meniscus fragments to clean up, and then inject our product, OK? Uh, after around 150 cases, we didn't have any great uh, complicant and complications, but the literature uh, tells us there's some uh, skin retract retractions, but to avoid this, we should collect the fat in deeper uh, layer. But the regenerative treatment does not allow eliminate the surgical intervention. With the, uh, I, I believe that the arthroplasty is not a failure from the treatment. It could be a complement. Because with the arthroplasty, we fix the mechanical disease, we fix the inflammation, but we don't fix the neuropathy problem from this, this uh, pathology. And after after some look at oh, okay, after when we do the the arthroplasty after the fat injections, the nano fat injections, we observe that the synovium is more strong. It's uh, it's not so inflammatory as usually. Okay, then it's a complementation. That after our obs uh, clinical observations and after this uh, pretty nice meta-analysis, we ranked our preferences. The first options to knee osteoarthritis, we choose uh, nanofat plus PRP right now, 
The second option is BMA, BMAC with hyaluronic acid, PRP with hyaluronic, and hyaluronic acid pure is the last, last position. But besides knowing what to apply, it's crucial to, to know where to apply it. Osteoarthritis is not only a cartilage uh, disease. And Dr. Philip Ernigo uh, features that the subchondral bone is a very important source of pain. And we need to achieve this, this, uh, this bone directly with CR injections or in indirectly with ultrasound. You can inject in the periosteum, in the, the channels, the vessel channels, you drainage into the bone. And the second, the second very important source of pain is the nerves. In the peri, the, the genicular nerves, we, we can modulate with radio frequency, cryo, or other options, but we need to access the posterior innervation. There's so many and branch, sensitive branch here, that is important to, to keep in mind, okay? And attention, because the MSK pain needs to be approached from the point of view of mechanical, inflammatory, and neuropathic. For conclusion, the, the nanofat, it's important not on how to, to produce this, but understand how, where, and when to apply. And this is our beautiful lady after nanofat and arthroscopy. And I have just two more speed. Who can the patient rely on or trust when the specialist doctor does not develop new skill? Okay, then Keep learning with these amazing guys in the WIP, and feel free to give me some questions, and that is my Instagram. Thank you.